Hello guys and good day. Uh, I just received a very tough question uh, coming from our friend Arnav and he was asking if I can do a tutorial about how he can get his own or make his own patch or tone. Um, it's like how can you create uh, a patch independently and not uh, like relying on asking uh, from YouTube. So the follow-up question there as well was when shall I use overdrive or how will I use distortion, when to use delay, uh, etc. And it's a really tough question for me because I didn't really like study music or about gear so I don't want to be quoted that oh I've heard it from this guy and he said blah 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 and then it's a wrong uh, thing so I don't want to be caught uh, in that uh, scenario but I have my own sort of concept so to be honest with you, the answer I think to your question relies on you as well. It's like, what is your music? What is the influence? Uh, like myself, I'm highly influenced by 90s grunge music. So when I'm doing mu uh, songs or creating my patch, uh, the influence comes out and the sound or gear etc it, it boils down to the music that i was listening to now when arnav was asking this he requested the metal patch so let's go back to that one to the metal patch and this is the amp that uh, i use it's crank uh, i've labeled it at the back as revo one so that's the one that's the amp head uh, i think i've learned a lot through years of uh, playing so going back when i was in high school and we joined like battle of the bands and we really don't know what we're doing and we're there with our guitar and then the amp is already provided and drum kit etc then all we know is they will tell us to just plug it in and we don't even know the knobs. They will just say this is the volume and then turn it up uh, when you're ready or um, turn off the amp when you're finished before unplugging things. So those kind of things. Well, we really didn't, don't know what's going on. So... Uh, we ask around and then we knew things through experience. We bought our own amp, uh, cheap ones, and then we know that there are knobs. And then those knobs, we just fiddle with it. And we discovered what they are for or we, if we love the sound or the settings. And then we just uh, remember it that, oh, I like these settings, etc. So yeah, going back, that's the amp. Now... We've got here, let's go for this one first. These are the drives and uh, boost. So we got overdrive, we got tube screamer, we've got booster, and we've got dyna comp or compressor. So they got their own purpose. Like this one boosts the signal. So if you're trying to do guitar solo, when you step on it, it will boost the signal, so you will cut through the mix. This one, Tube Screamer, so this one's got Tube. If you step on it, it will push the Tube. Overdrive, this channel got Drive or Gain. If you step on it, it will push that uh, Drive or Gain level. So in a sense, those three, uh, in their own way, uh, sort of um, helps this amp it, to get their own purpose but in their own way it just boosts or like this one 
it makes the tube uh, more prominent or like the drive signal like the overdrive so it's hard for me to explain as i said i'm not very technical i didn't study it but when i tried it this is talking about zoom g1x on that's what it does compressor on the other hand it compresses the sound so if you want to have that very tight sound this is a good um pedal now it all relates to this amp isn't it next is the distortion because you've asked about distortion so you got that one this is our distortion and then we've got a lot more we've got this fuzz face we got big muff we got marshall sorry we've got marshall governor and we've got rat so these are distortions and this will make this um amp like sounded um like all the way up the gain level i don't know how to explain it distortion so it distort the sound it make that fuzzy sound now if you add this over here if you move your pedal over here this will push the sound of your distortion before the pedal that's why there's like a signal chain if you put it the other way around this one is pushing this and whatever you got here as your distortion from your guitar so it goes to distortion then it gets compressed before it reaches the amp so that's sort of the concept i'm following okay so that's the one now right i hope you're still following me with this one and i'm i don't know really if this is gonna work but the other one that you said is about delay i only got two here the carbon copy delay the, and the analog delay there's digital delay stereo delay etc loads of delays you can put your delay here that one so that whatever signal is here when it reaches the delay you can mix all of this before it goes to your amp okay so delay is like an echo it uh, repeats the sound of your guitar or it loops so some got uh, a tape delay so it's 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 the same concept so um if you're doing lead stuff and you add delay your sound is like floating or flying that's the purpose of your delay so you if this is your pedal board if you turn this off it will be clean there's no distortion there's no overdrive then you get your delay and if you got two delays for example one short and one long delay or you can set it up like that and then when you're doing lead maybe you'll have the long delay for your lead and when you're doing rhythm turn it off because it's sort of loop it will make your sound uh, muddy or I don't know the terms so um, the other bit is if this got reverb already so no need to put reverb uh, pedals um, but if you like to have your own reverb pedal then that's an additional pedals I don't have pictures of reverb but you got spring reverb it can be from the amp or pedal whole reverb arena plate reverb so this one is after your your delay so that whatever the delay is doing it will go to the reverb before it sends to your uh, amp sometimes your amp got a send and return so it can be put at the back 
it's here send and return so send to your delay going to your reverb and return to your amp then this is in front of the amp and uh, because you, you want to push the amp then your reverb and your delay is at the back that can be done as well in an actual amp right the other bit is the modulation so modulation can be in between here so you got super chorus phaser flanger corona tri you got the stereo chorus so all of this from your guitar going to your booster or your overdrive going to your distortion goes to your chorus or your phaser flanger etc and goes to your amp and if your amp got this at the back send and return loop effects you got delay and whole reverb or if your amp got a built-in effects which got digital delay as well as reverb then it's good as well you don't need that so that's my sort of concept and then obviously you got eq pedal noise gate or the Z znr you got tremolo and vibrato so it depends on what sound you're looking for so it's a trial and error and the eq normally you got eq already on your amp but some people love to have their own eq that's where they create their own distinct tone noise gate obviously when you're using this and we've done it on that heavy metal patch we've used instead of noise gate we replaced it with the zoom noise reduction or the znr so it's really helpful when you got loads of high gain effects to put noise gate or the znr and that's my sort of concept on how i build up the tone but i learned all this uh, through experience when do, doing gig asking people around trying it out and most of all big help from my zoom uh, g1x on pedal where i can arrange the effect chain because initially i learned uh, this one with my digitech rp55 but you can't rearrange the pedal then in there it's sort of arranged like this it starts with uh, i think pedal where you can add wawa or something so from here you can add wawa or volume uh, expression pedal and then it goes to amp actually from there from um digitech so pedal then amp then i think noise gate and then you got the eq and then you got i think modulation and then you've got delay and then reverb so that's uh, from Digitech RP55. But with Zoom, you can rearrange it however you like. It can be the amp is here, this distortion, which how they did it, I think, with the power lead. So yeah, try it out, experiment, because each time you move something, you add, remove, you place it somewhere else in the chain. It creates a different tone. So... I hope that helps. Uh, I know it's very, very uh, uh, unclear on this matter because I'm not expert. I can't like um, a proper teacher who will say, okay, we are on lesson number one, book one. This is what we need to know. Then move on. Because I just learned this all through experience and experimenting trying it out and what works and what i love listening to or how it sounds and guys if you can help us around as well um that would be great so leave your suggestions and your comments on the comment section and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and press that notification bell so you get notified each time i'm posting new videos thank you for watching and god bless bye